which is beatthebook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new here, welcome. You've been here before, welcome back. Either way, I thank you for tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. Thumbs up, subscribe. Click the bell so you're notified every single time I drop anything on this channel. I want to make sure you guys are up to date with everything we're doing here. Um, as yesterday, we had another overtime game. It seems like I've been hitting, I think the last like six college basketball games, like four of them have been have gone to overtime. So yet another overtime matchup yesterday as we had plus the two points with San Diego State had chances to get it there in regulation. Weren't able to cash it, go to overtime um, and thought we were going to get a pull push until there was a, a review and foul call there with 0.3 seconds left on the clock after the fans have stormed the court and they went back and knocked down free throws and killed our killed our push at least was hoping for a push there in that one so gotta get your free pick win today we're going to do so best believe we have a six units here play of the month play of the week whatever you want to call it is going to be up and loaded up on my day pass day pass is the only way to get it obviously if you're on a week or season whatever the case may be you'll get it as well but College basketball is already loaded up. Pay attention around noon, 1 o'clock. We're going to get NBA going as well. Um, so we try to get a couple selections there. I like to wait a little bit here to see if I can get some more intel with injuries um, before I put some stuff out on the NBA side. But we have five selections here in college basketball. And we're looking to have a better day than we did yesterday, okay? So let's get into it. Without further ado, if you're not following Bryce, make sure you do so. TikTok and Twitter is where he operates. All my socials are down below. The website's down below as well to instant access you go on there log in and everything's right there for you okay so let's get into it without further ado we have a what time is this game i had it written down and now i can't find it on my sheet six o'clock matchup baylor bears going on the road here to face the kansas jayhawks now this line opened up and it was closer to like five ish six and now it's all the way up to eight here i believe the last time i saw it was up to eight um, with an over under that came out at 150 moving down to 148 and a half with a decent amount of steam on the under there in that matchup um, and Kansas is favorite in this one and for good reason now the line's moving down okay so six and a half opened up six and a half now it's down to seven and or up to seven and a half um, down from eight where it was came out 150 and a half down to 148 and a half here all right, and we know Kansas Jayhawks coming off a tough loss there in a rivalry matchup against, against Kansas State we know how great their defense is coming back home where they have been outstanding this season they've been playing great basketball i believe they're undefeated here no let me make sure before i make a mistake and misspeak it undefeated here at home all their losses have come on the road this season um and at home they've just been a totally different team we know the last time they were home they faced houston and what was basically a route looked a little bit closer than it was with the, the final score but they punched houston in the mouth early and houston really couldn't really could not ever recover um now there was a lot of opportunities in that game um for houston to knock down some shots they just didn't make a lot of shots and now with baylor they have to go on the road here where they have struggled they have not played very well on the road two and three so far on the road this season um and they have some some tough losses here they did get the road win there against ucf on the road then had back-to-back -back wins there against iowa state huge win there and texas tech to climb themselves back into the big 12 race here now offensively is where baylor's going to hang their hat they shoot the three they shoot at a high clip they shoot it well over 40 something percent best three-point shooting team in college basketball 41 percent um from three-point land they do a good job of getting to the free throw line as well where they shoot 73 percent on the season now where they are not typical um, where they're not the same Baylor Bear team as they've been before is on defense where they've really struggled um, to get some things done. I like the addition of uh, Furphy that they've put in here for Kansas, who's added a little bit of depth to their lineup and their ability to stretch the floor um, and play defense. But Kansas can sometimes get caught up um, in, in uh, going up and down with some of these two teams. I think we're going to take a look at a total here in this one. And even with uh, Baylor Bears, their defense, even if it's relatively improving here recently, they've struggled. Even when they went to UCF on the road, UCF almost scored 70 points. And this is a UCF team who was struggling to even get in the 60s um, in some games against other opponents there in the Big 12. They almost scored 70 points there on Baylor Bears. And UCF is not a very good offensive team whatsoever. I believe Kansas is going to have opportunities to get almost whatever they want offensively. I believe Baylor is going to have some opportunities to knock down some threes as Kansas tends to leave, leave uh, three-point shooters open from time to time and be able to knock down some shots here. But I like over the total here in this matchup. I think Kansas wins. The line's a little bit too thick for my liking. I don't trust Baylor enough to back them on the road, but I do trust them to get their offense rolling here in this matchup. Baylor, Kansas, over 148 and a half is my official free pick of the day. Let's get us a win here. Get off the schneid a little bit um, and cash our, uh, our card today, our free pick today, and our play of the week, play of the month, whatever you want to call it. Six unit best bet. All right. Double D, Derek Dimes, defeatthebook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. Best of luck if you decide to tail. But either way, hope you guys have an awesome Saturday. Good luck.